Next, again a TTA question. This is again a very beautiful question on P and C. You need to find all the natural numbers less than 6000 whose sum of digits is 8. It is not a numbers question. This is a disguised P and C question. So let us take four digit number and I will call the digits as A, B, C, D. Okay, A, B, C, D. Now I want the sum of these digits to be 8. So let me first find the sum of the digits to be 8. What are these kind of numbers? <coughs> now, uh, I will use the, uh, so I hope you remember in PNC there is a concept called sum of non-negative integ integral solutions or the number of non-negative integral solutions. So if that is the case, you can, you can basically take a look at sum should be 8. So n plus r minus 1, c r minus 1 is the number of non-negative integral solutions integral solutions what does it mean it means this is r and this is n so if you are having r things adding up to n then the number of ways in which these r things can be having different different values is n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 so the answer uh, as of now without the condition of the 6000 i didn't put that condition yet just adding up to 8 should be 8 plus 4 minus 1, C 4 minus 1. This is uh, 12 minus 1, 11, C 3. 11, C 3 is 11 factorial. So 11 into 9, uh, 10 into 9 by 3 into 2. So 3 goes 3 times, 2 goes 5 times. So 15 are 165. But don't be in a hurry. This is not your answer. Why this is not your answer? Because this will look at all possibilities, all possibilities. What are the possibilities here in 165? I have a possibility of uh, 6002. I have a possibility of 6110. All these are greater than 6000. All these are greater than 6000. I should not count them. So all these are included in this 165. So I will subtract the ones which I don't need. So what are the things which I don't need? Anything with the first digit being six and anything else following it. So if I fix six, then the remaining can be zero, zero, two. And like this, I will have three possibilities because six, zero, zero, two, six, zero, two, zero, six, two, zero, zero. Similarly, if I take six and uh, uh, six, one, one, zero, I will again have three possibilities. What are the three possibilities? Six, one, one, zero, six, one, zero, one, and six, zero, one, one. So that's, uh, these are the six and two. What else can I have? I will also have the total as, uh, so this is only possible using six. Now all sixes are done. I will go for seven. So I'm looking at seven, then seven zero zero one. So like this, I'll have three numbers: seven zero zero one, zero one zero, and one zero zero. Then I'll look at eight zero zero zero. This will be one number. This is also counted. I should not be counting it. So total of ten numbers are counted in this one sixty five. I should not count them. So therefore, my answer will be one hundred and fifty five. It's a very nice question disguised as a numbers question, but actually it's a PNC question. Now you might be wondering, I'm looking at all natural numbers, why am I considering only uh, four digit numbers? Where are the two digit numbers? Where are the one digit numbers? Where are the three digit numbers? Now, the beauty of the problem is, these 165 takes cases like 0, 6, 2, 0. This is actually a two digit number. 0, 6, 2, 0 is 62. That is already counted in your 165. Because your nature of A, B, C, D are non-negative, which means they can be zeros. So if A is zero, then I'm looking at a two-digit or a three-digit number. If uh, B is zero, then I'm looking at um, uh, a... Um, if B is zero, then I'm looking at a two-digit number and so on and so forth. So that is basically your answer, 165. Okay, let's... Uh, 155. Let's move ahead. <coughs> 